So yeah, the, the kingfisher then guys were off on the hunt for some kingfishers. They're like the mystical beast, aren't they? Like a unicorn. You often see them flying up and down rivers, but they they don't perch long enough to let you get close enough. But an over place, um, a little nature reserve, some lovely hides, um, and I've got some good pictures before up there. So I'm hoping, given it's this time of the year, and um, the kingfish will be pairing up. They'll be feeding more. There should be some males, some females. Yeah, so let's see what we can find in a bit. And guys, so it's uh, Top Hill Nature Reserve today. It's up in Yorkshire towards near Beverly Driffield Way, about an hour from me. Um, it's an awesome place. It's right next to the uh, reservoir. Um, it's part of the Yorkshire Nature Triangle, I believe. Um, I'll just spin you around and just show you um, what sort of a day it is because it's lovely. Bright blue skies and sunny. Um, and midges everywhere. I don't know if you can see them. The top hill guys sits right on the um, river all there's there's quite a few different ponds and na nature areas here it's set up into different sections and there's different uh, hides loads of hides i think there's about seven or eight um, so we'll have a look at a couple of them today we're we're hoping for some some kingfishers but you know me i take a picture of anything that lands near me so let's have a little look and see what we can find One of the things I absolutely love about this place is they have separate areas, separate little nature setups, and there's beard boxes. And bat boxes, should I say. They're absolutely abundant here. There's log piles that they put and create. Um, and they manage this really, really well. I'm told it, it's, there's been masses of change over the last few years. Um, Big improvements, but you know, for as far as the nature reserve goes, the only thing that's missing is a, a place to sit and have a coffee. But there's toilets, um, information boards, there's wardens, there's loads of hides, um, and it's a big place, big big place. If you haven't been, it's definitely worth a visit. Incredible. See them behind me. Got a big group of people there, guys. We're heading to the Kingfisher Hide just like I am. So <laughs> I did do a bit of a dash to get in front. I know, very selfish, but I've drove a long way to get here. Let's hope the space when I get there.
just while it's quiet then guys, we've just got a five minute break. There's nobody in the hide at the minute. Um, this is North Marsh hide. Now, all the marshes are like this. So we've got viewing points all the way around with these information boards that go around. Now, last year they had otters nesting in here. So because of that, a live feed put in. But I don't think the otters have been seen here yet this year. And it's only early, but they were nesting through that channel there. Now hopefully you've seen some of the uh, some of the Kingfisher pictures that I've I've put up and I've took for you today. Absolutely incredible day, I think I've already said. Um, you're seeing this um, before the Red Letter Day. Yeah, so I mean it's a bit of a spoiler really, but don't go anywhere because you're going to be impressed. Um, even if I do say so myself, you know. Um, we've come back here of an evening because it's empty, so I wanted to just show you around a little bit. But stick with it. Follow me to the next hide because I tell you what, we didn't fail. And right, guys, we've just left the North Marsh hide, as you've seen. So I'm being quiet because there's still people in there. Really, really busy. Um, died off a little bit. There was still somebody in there, so I couldn't do too much talking there. But hopefully, I've put some clips up. But I've spotted some. Some Setis warblers, some grey lags, and um, gold crest. There's a water rail, but like usual, they <laughs> they run around like something's chasing them. Never stay still. The water rail, they're a funny bird. They'll sit there and just scuttle across like roadrunner. Um, I'm yet to take a good picture of one. Anyway, um, speaking to a, a lovely bloke in there, he's told me where they're nesting on the next side, and he's even told me which window to sit in to see them going in and out the the nest. So I'm hopefully. Gonna see some more kingfishers down there. Now, um, I don't even mention it in this video, but I mentioned it in the last one. Um, if you haven't already, go check out our other page, Wandering Soul Adventures. Me and my, my uh, best mate, Adam, Ad, um, we go hiking, wild camping, lots of adventures, explore abandoned places. Um, we've had a bit of time off, we've done a charity hike, so we're just getting back into it. But you know, you see two old blokes having a, a moan and a whinge at each other in the woods. It's, it entertains me anyway, at least. Um, you know, lifelong mate, brother from another mother, um, get up to mischief together, and we do it anyway, so we thought we'd record it, so if you haven't already, head over there and check it out, I'll stick a card up here somewhere, um, if I'm smart enough to figure it out. So I'm in the north side, guys, so people have just left, so I couldn't speak before. There's a family and the young kid, and I couldn't really record them. Um, just chatting to a bloke, really, really friendly, but kingfishers galore. Um, thank you to the guy that, that recommended this side. This is the north side of Top Hill, though. Um, and the nesting, if I just pick you up and show you. Excuse the door camera footage. Nesting just down there on the bank, and if I've done it right, that's a big F. Then uh, we should have some footage of that. Camera was playing up a bit when I tried to record, but I think I've got some video. Definitely got some photos. Um, male and a female, they're back and forth. They're coming in and out that hide. Clearly nesting in there, or will be nesting in there. Um, I don't know if it's too early yet to have to have eggs. I thought they were a little bit later um, to have a brood. Clearly paired up, they're sitting on the same same um, set of bulrushes, and then they're coming down and sitting on a log. And there's lots of matter, should we call it, on that log. So they're frequent there, really, and they're just zooming from there to there. Um, incredible to watch. Lovely little birds, really dainty. Um, iridescent colours, bright as anything, like I said before, 
I don't know how you can't spot them. Normally you can hear the pip in before you see them and I'll, I'll put some of that sound up now. Um, really distinct. It reminds me of the doctors, you know, the, the whistly ones. Um, but yeah, really, really distinct. You can, I can always hear them before I see them. Um, yeah, and that's how I spotted them today. There was two guys in here and one of them said he, he probably won't be able to see them because his son and all left him all ears on. <clears throat> and I went, oh, they're there. And as soon as I said it, they flew in. Um, and there's two of them. And I think I've got some shots of them together um, on the same bull rush. I'm trying to get shots of them in flight, but I keep losing the sun. The cloud comes in. It's quite dark. And my autofocus isn't working on this um, this lens. I need to update the firmware on it. So my own fault, I should have been prepared. Enjoy the footage. There is a bit of a misconception really about the photographing of kingfishers at nests protected under schedule one of the endangered species act if you look at the rspb site it's legal to photograph and video nesting kingfishers and schedule one animals as long as you don't disturb that nesting site now you can see these birds weren't disturbed at all they were quite happy coming in and out of the nest and one of the other things you're not allowed to do is is bait them so you know what some people do is use sounds to attract them in and disturb them by getting the kingfishers to come and protect their nesting sites. Now that is illegal. If you are recording um, kingfishers at nests, just be mindful of that. And this one's a female, guys. You can tell clearly by the orange um, stripe under the beak. Now, that, that really is the only notable difference between the males and the females. As you can see, they're clearly out that peg, or post, should I say because they visit that a few times. Now this beard's probably only, oh, I don't know, 10 or 12 foot away from me. Really, really close. And they're not bothered at all. Um, they'll happily come in and sit right near the hide. They're so used to people, it's incredible. See them back in one picture. the trip guys if you have not been to top hill though and you want to see kingfishers get yourself here incredible now you guys incredible place absolute red letter day um i've literally just seen a stoke running down down the track as i came back too far away to to take a picture i have got some record shots but if they're dead blurry i won't put them up you know, we started off at the um, pier side. <clears throat> I've only really come for kingfishers today. You'll see throughout the, the, the video, there's lots of shots of other birds because there's just so much here to see. Um, there's some roe deer that you, I hope you've seen. Um, there's some really nice moody pictures of the pheasants as well. <laughs> Although it was really sunny, um, it was stood in a, in a shade. Um, and I've got a real close up profile picture of its face and it, it's really moody and shady. It looks, it looks quite ominous really, it's good. Um, anyway, it's not quite the end of the day, but I need to get back. We've got the trail cams to set up, like I said earlier. If you haven't already, jump down to those comments. Tell me what you think's made those uh, dens. I'm sure I know what it is. But if you check back in a couple of days, I'll have an answer for you. Now, if you haven't already, um, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, 
you know it's all free don't cost you anything and if you've liked anything you've seen i'd really appreciate it and even if you haven't liked anything you've seen some feedback down in the comments would do me a world of good so i know what you guys are looking for and i also say is thank you very much for watching and on to the next